Good morning, everyone. Um, I'm at the Dutch Barn, just outside Six Penny Hanley. I've just parked up at the gate because I cannot see anywhere else I can park and it's all padlocked and everything. Um, so I'm assuming I can just park here briefly. There's a sunrise gonna happen. I don't know if it's gonna be a good one or a bad one or what. Um, you have to excuse my face. I've been up since four o'clock. I didn't go to bed till late, so I feel a little bit tired, but I thought I'd come out this morning. It looks like there could be a sunrise um, or there could not be a sunrise. It's one of those. It's a 50-50 whether it's gonna kick off, light up. Whether this location is a sunrise location, I don't know. Most of the images I see of it are taken in broad daylight. So we thought we'd chance our arm and come over here and just see what it's like with um, a bit of a sunrise going on behind it. So um, yeah, let's get out there and just uh, have a look at what we can set up for a shot for today. So here we are, we're in the field. Uh, excuse the microphone uh, if there's a little bit of a breeze in the air. Uh, I haven't got the DJI, I'm waiting for the DJI mic system to turn up. It's, um, I think it's June 22nd and maybe it's been delayed so many times. I'm just, I'm in an hour about whether to get a cheap uh, lavalier mic until uh, that comes in. But anyway, as you can see, we are at the Dutch Bar. And it's um, a pretty spectacular view. I'm hoping those clouds there are gonna light up. You can see there's a bit of a sunrise going on. Uh, I'm a bit early yet. I'm still about 20 minutes away from a sunrise, but there is a potential for it to kick off. So here's hoping. Um, I'll show you what I got on the back of the camera. If I just flip this around a sec. to do it that way so as you can see I don't know if you can see that on the camera or not but we've got the barn framed up to the left uh, pretty much just over 55 60 percent of the the rapeseed and then the sky above it it's slightly overexposed at the minute we will darken that down that's, I'm going to do two exposures, one for the uh, rapeseed in the barn and one for the sky, and then I'll blend them together in Photoshop later on. Uh, settings at the moment, I've got ISO 400, F4, and I'm at one fifth of a second, but I'm, um, that will change That will change rapidly uh, as the sun comes up and the light gets better. So, <clears throat> yeah, I've, I thought there'd be proper parking here. I, I don't know why, um, but the, the gates uh, to the field is actually locked off at the minute. So um, there is um, a sty to the left, uh, to the right of the fence. So I'm assuming from that, this has actually got public access. Well, I don't know. I see plenty of people posting photographs from here. So I'm just assuming that you're allowed to come in here. As long as you don't tromp down on the rapeseed oil. Um, I am literally just to the left of the path here. And I've been very careful stepping into this section here. I'm not damaging any of the crop um, in any way, as you can probably see. There are just some narrow gaps that you can squeeze through so that you don't do any damage to anything. So we'll get this shot. Hopefully it'll be a good shot. Um, we'll see. Uh, and I'll talk to you again in a bit. Green. Sky kicking off behind me. It's all looking, looking good. I've kept the same composition. Um, I don't want to talk too long to camera because obviously with this going off, I need to be focusing on what I'm doing here. But yeah, I'm really, really, really pleased with how this is uh, developing here. There's some beautiful cloud in the sky now above the barn. They're lighting up amazingly and we're only just started off yet i mean it's going to kick off even more in a minute so i'm going to focus on that while i do that but as you can see i mean that's just looking epic I, obviously this camera is overexposing that but i will um, expose the sky and then expose for the field and the barn as well so yeah so um yeah i look forward to um ed editing these photos in photoshop because i think they're going to be some absolute bangers here all right <laughs> yay excited
yeah, the colours have gone now, unfortunately. So I, I am going to pack it up and head on back home now. Um, it was not quite not quite as good as I wanted it to be in the end. It didn't really fire up as much as I wanted it to. Uh, I have changed locations slightly. I, um, as you can probably see, I am just off the path again. Uh, I am now doing a vertical. As you can see, there's still some texture in the sky. It's just the colors all gone out of it, unfortunately. There's a little bit on the horizon there, but it's not, um, it's not the best. But uh, yeah, I'm happy with the shots I've managed to get so far today. So it's uh, rather nippy out here and the wind chill is um, making it very, very nippy. So I'm going to um, head back to the car, have a slurp of coffee and um, bugger off home and edit the shots up. So uh, thank you for watching. Uh, if you like the video, I'm still new at this. As I said uh, on my um, introduction video, I am not a professional photographer, not by a long shot. I'm just a, a hobbyist landscape photographer who thought he'd film himself bumbling around in some fields um, but if you like what you, you're seeing uh, like and subscribe follow me on my journey um, and hopefully it might help you a little bit on yours take care bye bye So funny story, uh, when I got here this morning, <laughs> it was pitch black. Uh, so I decided to um, climb over the fence. Uh, now I'm a bit of a unit and it's not the easiest thing for me to do to get over where those with my knees. However, in the benefit of daylight, freaking idiot.